Welcome back. Well, then there's Bitcoin. This is shares. Uh, Bitcoin soared past the $10,000 mark yesterday for the first time ever. Lauren Simonetti with all the details now. Lauren. Yeah, so many people not believing, and yet... Here we are. So 10,000 is, is a psychological barrier. We got through that. Let's show you this chart because 2017 is clearly the year of the Bitcoin. It's 900% return wow. this year alone. Uh, Black Friday weekend, that's really what brought us up to 10,000 because Expedia, eBay, Microsoft, Overstock, they accept Bitcoin. We're seeing more folks actually pay with it. You have more hedge funds, more banks getting in on Bitcoin. We're talking about it more. It's all over the media. But yet also with the 900 percent return, you have to question, is this a bubble? Does this spell trouble? And it's so volatile. Can it replace money in the future? With the volatility, what do you guys think? You know what? I, I, I was telling the, uh, everybody yesterday when I was shopping over the Thanksgiving holiday in West Hampton, New York, there was a store on right on this door says we accept Bitcoin. I couldn't believe it. I took a picture of it and I tweeted it out because first time I had actually seen that yeah. in, in a retail uh, environment. And and that's what was the latest hype, Black Friday shopping. We were just talking, and mind you, I still in my wallet carry my checkbook and my book of stamps okay so i pay with checks and you're showing me on your phone how you can just buy you know and pay with bitcoin listen bob and i and maria and dagan <laughs> were speaking about it i was a complete naysayer about six months ago yeah. and then i really started studying the whole idea of blockchain and cryptocurrency yeah. and i now believe it's a real asset class to the point that i was saying one of these small companies that we founded a few years ago is selling the company into a pre-ico and getting coin. Now, we don't know what the coin actually is worth, okay, today, so I can't tell you if it's worth one dollar or a million dollars, but I think what's interesting is this is a real uh, asset class, and what I'm hearing is post-Equifax, mm -hmm. more people are getting nervous dealing with credit cards and banks, and then on the commerce side, it's, in some ways it's a no-brainer. If you can actually, if this is validated yeah. through um, blockchain, then the idea of being able to buy things without mm -hmm. credit card fees and bank fees and, and yeah. giving all the personal stuff, I think for these wealthy young millennials, which I'm not Speed, sure any of us are, relevance. Yeah, okay, people like it. Yeah, and I, speaking of millennials, I want to show you guys this. Katy Perry on Instagram three hours ago posted this picture of herself with Warren Buffett, and she writes, no big deal, asking Warren Buffett his thoughts on cryptocurrency. So... Yeah, Bitcoin is getting mainstream. That's the millennial appeal. That's funny. Yeah. But she evidence has to have that he'll it never no evidence he'll never turn down the opportunity to be photographed with a, <laughs> a woman, woman yeah. significantly younger than him. Mm. But continue. Well, yeah, that's I, true. I think you know, Bob, you, you and I are age deficit here. My nephew, you know, years ago bought it and he said, Uncle Bob, what do you think? I said, Get out of it. You know, it's it's a uh, it's phony. And that was years ago. He probably paid close to nothing. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Sense. yeah. So he he's reminded me, Hey Uncle Bob. You know, you should have, you should have taken my tip on this thing, but I I have the same you know phobia about it. I I, I do pay online and so forth. I don't carry the checkbook, but I, I'm just ner what backs a Bitcoin? I mean, what's what's behind it? Yeah, what's behind it? So what's interesting is, uh, listen, I'm not the specialist here. <laughs> so, now you are. So let, let's not. <laughs> but say you're it. a believer. So. I'm a believer. Listen, the, the whole idea of cryptocurrency yeah. is really it's not a currency. And so they're mining, we're going to call this thing coin. And if you look at it like as an asset class, it's really on the basis of supply and demand. So it's an inflationary asset class, not inflation meaning what raising right, rates, but inflation meaning that those people who are willing to buy or sell, the rates, the prices will go up or down. And what's different than a lot of asset classes is that each of these coins have a finite amount that they're mining. The reason Bitcoin is flying off the, off the roof, which may or may not be a bubble, some people say there's a better chance it goes to 100,000 before it goes back down to 1,000. Oh Yesterday God. our guest said 50,000. Right, is because that these exchanges are starting to validate it. And yes. the truth is whether we like it or not, yeah. CME is going to start doing it with futures, yeah. yep. and, yeah. and Goldman is going to start likely trading it, and it then all of a JP sudden... Morgan. But it's the greater fool theory. It, it, some of it's a great... It might be a perfectly legitimate currency down the road, but it's like the internet bubble. These are perfectly legitimate yeah. businesses that were wildly overvalued, and the bubble blew up in everybody's Yeah, I'm talking about so cryptocurrency as an asset class. Yeah, it's, it's, not... it's interesting to see that stores are accepting it right now. I mean, it... But I, it's still... And that's the shop that I, I saw in, yeah. in West Hampton.